And hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Before we do get into today's video, as always, make sure you do drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel for more Newcastle United content. So I hope you guys are all okay. We've got a lot to go through in today's video. As you can tell by the title, uh, Newcastle United set to agree another deal, Ahmed a sign and blitz. Look, I'll get into that transfer story in just a moment, but I want to go over the recently revealed away kit for this season. So Newcastle have revealed their new Adidas away kit for the coming season with a promotional video featuring past and present Newcastle stars. The kit, which is a tribute to the 1995-96 Adidas away kit, was launched with an accompanying video that included some of the top players from that era including David Ginola, Rob Lee, Shea Gibbon, Steve Watson, Lee Clark, and Nobby Solano. United head coach Eddie Howe also features alongside with number two Jason Tindall and current stars Jacob Murphy, Joe Linton, and Sean Longstaff. The strip features maroon and dark blue hoops with a white round collar and the club badge in all white. It went on sale from 9am this morning and has already gone down well with the fans. The shorts are dark blue with maroon and blue socks. So yeah, the kit itself is really, really nice. Um, Adidas as a whole, since they came back to the club, have done really, really well with the, the designs of the kits. Of course, I think when you're trying to expand your your sales and, and different things when it comes to, to merchandise, I think Adidas is the best uh, manufacturer for that because they create so many great, nice designs and they create other things as well, like shoes and different uh, types of um, clothing that brands can get behind and, and buy, which of course creates more, more money for the team. So Eddie Howe also said, Adidas have been done an amazing job of our kit, and I'm sure the new away kit will be hugely popular with the players and supporters everywhere. This is an iconic club built on the history, and the 1995-96 team was one of the most entertaining ever. I'm sure our supporters will appreciate the nod to that era, and we look forward to seeing our teams wearing it on the road. So this is our first time teaming up with Adidas since 2010, and I think definitely now Adidas is the best manufacturer by a country mile. I think. Um, the design itself is, I think, always the, the most clean, most nice in the Premier League and, and across Europe as well. But as well as that, as I mentioned, the um, different little throwbacks they do from different eras at different clubs as well, which is always cool to see. And it's very respectable. And I think a lot of the fans have really, really got behind this kit and are really uh, liking it. I think a lot of, I think it will do really well on sale this morning. So yeah, um, let me know if you, got, if you guys are going to buy this away kit for this coming season. Let me know your thoughts down below on what you make of the design. Do you like it? Do you dislike it? Let me know. But there's some bigger news to discuss and it's down with the transfer market because we spoke yesterday about, um, of course, a Mark Gahey one, which is not actually, it's not about Mark Gahey for once, which is nice. Um, so with, with Nani Madweke, we spoke about yesterday, the Chelsea right winger, how um, Newcastle had shown some interest in him in a potential loan deal uh, with a buy option attached to it. That was reported by Fabrizio Romano, of course, a very reliable source in the transfer space. And now it's been reported from across different news outlets that Newcastle will target Nani Madweke if they sell Miggy Almiron to Charlotte FC and the MLS, according to Mark Douglas. So the MLS transfer window has less than... 48 hours to deal with the window um, before the window closes. Um, it's around 36 hours actually until the, until the window closes in the MLS. Um, and Charlotte FC are trying to get a deal done for Miggy Almiron. Of course, he did used to play as football in the MLS with Atlanta. Um, kind of a legend over there as well. We've seen it um, in one of the pre-seasons a while ago where he, I think it was last pre-season where he went back there for the stadium and he got a massive, massive applause. Um, so he's definitely loved out in the MLS. So, yeah, it seems, it seems that Charlotte FC wants Miggy Almiron and Newcastle have identified Nani Madweke as his replacement. Um, what I love about this deal is is the loan to buy option. I think that's a really good business from Newcastle. They can get that deal over the line and done, done in that way. Um, of course, this is going to be a, a difficult transfer to make happen just given the timeline in the MLS right now with the transfer window. But if it was to go through, I think if we get Nani Madweke and a loan to buy option, that's a really good replacement first of all and really good business from Newcastle as well because you aren't spending a a setup fee here and now before next summer, similar to what we did with Lewis Hall last year to this summer when we spent £28 million this year. Um, but yeah, I'm very happy with that potential sign. And of course, it's a bit of a domino effect, a bit of a snowball effect. Uh, Miggy has to go first before we can sign Nonny. Um, so a lot of things need to happen. A lot of, a, lot of things need, a lot of things need to go right for it to happen. Um, so it all depends if Miggy wants to go back to the MLS or not. Um, 
But yeah, we'll see how that one develops in the next few days, of course. Um, hopefully it can get done. I think Miggy's been a great servant for the club. I think he's passed his best now. I think we need to improve in that area of the pitch as well. So I think Noni would be a good addition to the club um, as well. So I've seen some of you guys say you want M M Bueno as well. Um, I disagree. I don't, I don't want M M Bueno. Um, but yeah, Noni's my choice. I think he's a really good player. I think he could do, do a good job for us. But yeah, let's go back to the Mark uh, Gahey situation because this one's still ongoing. Um, we're still waiting for confirmation if the deal has been accepted by the clubs, if uh, Newcastle have done enough in their transfers, um, offered enough money to, to Crystal Palace for Mark Gahey or not. Um, we'll find out in the next few hours, I'm sure, how this one stands. There was a report saying that this would be the third and final bid from Newcastle for Mark Gahey before they turn their attention elsewhere which is quite concerning. A lot of you guys are pretty happy with that as well. Some of you guys think we are overpaying for him. But I can kind of see a little bit, but I think the quality that you get with him as well is just um, next level. And I think he could be a really good player for us. And he does take us to that next level as well in, in terms of solidifying that defence, that, that back line for sure. Um, really is a good addition. Um, hopefully we can get that transfer over the line. In terms of other outgoings as well, the Kieran Trippier situation, uh, he was linked to West Ham earlier on in the transfer window. That one's gone relatively quiet. I think it's not going to happen now. They just signed Aaron Wan-Bissaka from Manchester United, so I don't see that transfer happening anytime soon. Um, I think they're pretty set for right-backs right now, and I don't think Kieran Trippier is going to go there. I thought it was quite a strange link at the time that he, he would go to West Ham. I just didn't see it happening because um, there would be no reason for him to, to go to West Ham unless Eddie Howe spoke to him saying that, look, you're not going to be a first-team player, which I find hard to believe. I think he's still very important to us this season. And I want to keep hold of Kieran Trippier. Callum Wilson is another one as well. I don't see him leaving this transfer window as things stand. I think he will stay at the club. Eddie Howe has kind of put his foot down a little bit on this one and saying, look, I don't want to sell Callum Wilson. I don't think we can get a better replacement for him. Of course, we signed William Asula already this transfer window, but he was more as an addition to the two strikers rather than a replacement for Wilson. Um, so yeah, it looks like Wilson will stay at the club right now. Which I'm happy with as well. If, if he can stay fit, we know how good he can be. It's just a matter of can he stay fit. That's the big question mark over his head. Um, but now we've got William Asula as support for him. So that does happen. It's not the end of the world. Um, as well as that, there's obviously uh, Jamal Lewis. He's probably going to leave at some point as well. Again, rumours pretty quiet around him. Fraser as well, still at the bloody club. I don't, know what's, <laughs> I don't know what's happening there. I think he wants Newcastle to pay out his contract because he doesn't want to take a wage cut to go to Southampton without getting all his money out of the Newcastle one. Um, so there's that, there's that issue there Newcastle don't want to do that right now um, so he's still at the club right now Brian Fraser and that's pretty much it guys in terms of players that could be leaving um, but yeah let me know your thoughts on what we discussed in today's video what do you make of the new away kit uh, what do you make of um, this non mad away kit potential transfer are you, are you for it or are you for against it do you think Miggy will go to the MLS yes or no and uh, yeah, drop a like on this video as always, and make sure you are subscribed to the channel for more Newcastle United content. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.